Welcome to the Archetypal Mosaic. This is Mikhail Tank. I'm sitting next to Kaulani Kahalekai. Um, a Hakuna. I'm, I'm a Kahu, Kahu, so like a priestess. Oh, I love yes. that. And we're sitting on the island, um, and you very beautifully gave me a lay of these. Yes, of, of plumerias. Uh, you know, they're very fragrant flowers called French Japanese in, in the technical world. And uh, when we met yesterday, we were both wearing Maori nephrite. Yes. Um, and today I have, you have your nephrite, um, and I have a ma Maori manaya. Yes, the yes. sea. Uh, the, it's, it's actually the guardian of, um, of your soul or your spirit. Beautiful. Yeah. And those are ni ni Niao shells. Okay, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, and you. we both have amethysts with us. Yes, yes, yes. yes you yes. have several amethysts, and I have an amethyst wand here. Um, about... What is mana? How can one define mana? Mana, um, mana is actually um, power or source power. You know, um, whether it be a spiritual power or spiritual point. You know, on earth or um, everyone has their own mana. Tell me, everyone has their own mana, but for some people, mana can be utilized for their survival and maybe for the survival of their loved ones but some people have extra mana the mm. kind of mana that they can heal with and give do you think it's the gift of the additional mana or how are there are some healers and some non-healers is All it the right. additional mana um i think yes it is an additional mana uh, or it's like uh something that 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 person yeah they take on a lot more. They can take on a lot more. At which point did you feel and know that you have the gifts? Uh, let's say, um, I think I was in my 30s. Well, in my 30s, you know, that I was going through just life itself. And um, I actually, this older Japanese lady um, took me under her wing and started teaching me Hawaiian Ho'oponopono. And Hawaiian Ho'oponopono is to make things right in your life or make things right. It's Ho'oponopono, so to make. Ho'o means to make, and then Ponopono is right, right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So to make things right, yeah? And is it similar to unblocking as well? Yes, because there's, there's so many things that are not unconscious, you know, that uh, Ho'oponopono will be able to c go in and pull that, that, that unconsciousness of people's thoughts, you know, people's um, feeling towards each other, or even that person's own feeling within themselves. Tell me, uh, some m magic workers, light workers, creative workers have familiars, <laughs> whether it's a cat or mm -hmm. an eagle mm -hmm. or a lion. Do you have a familiar that you prefer? Uh, no, I think I work with quite a bit of familiars, <laughs> you know, um, and, and I, I, I actually don't choose them. They just keep coming at the place where I'm at and everyone kind of, it changes. So it's not like always the same. What about, uh, the percentage of, of you being a conduit Yes. to you having the extra mana? So you bringing forth or allowing the power to go through you as opposed to the power that is within you. What is, is it a 50-50 or is it 70-30 approximately? Um, I'm not sure. Um, I, I kind of, uh, I'm just, I just feel like I am a conduit okay. and that source or the power, the mana just comes into and allows, I allow the mana to take its course, you know, or, or make or have me move it. Are there days when you feel like you're not connected? Yes. Do you take those days to internalize or? I take those days and rest. Yes, rest. Um, and uh, I try to shut everything off, okay. you know, uh, and I think uh, my most, uh, the worst thing for me to do is be on the computer, but that's what I like to do. <laughs>
for entertainment. Yes, right? for entertainment. Tell me, um, shells, uh, yes. bones, things of the earth that yes. we wear, that we love, that we cherish, whether it's amethyst and jade, or uh, how do you feel that archetypal energy with shells or bone go through you? How does it help? Well, um, I think a lot of like um, things that I collect, um, like shells, it helps uh what do you call it uh most of it is more more so you know i think it helps you feel connected to earth energy you know or like uh like most of the like gems or the amethyst grounds. Yeah, grounds me grounds me so i can feel it i can feel it below me as i walk and um the bones will ground me as well because they come from the ground as well you know or the animal that it came from um at the same time you know um i don't rely on it mm -hmm. to to ground me you know I, i i use it as as more decoration but there are some things like like these mm -hmm. okay i'll use it because i like the i the like how it yeah mm -hmm. how it feels on my hands and But I like the energy that it yeah. instills. Yeah. I just got the koa. Oh yeah. The koa, uh, koa, and this is jadeite from Burma, and I I know what you mean. Yes. It's you don't you don't have to have it. Correct. But it's like wearing a beautiful Correct. gown. Correct. Yes, and it it makes my body feels good. You know when when it's connected onto to me. What is a way that somebody can, basically, as a worker? You have the power. I, I, I have the ability, in just in different ways. Correct. You know, it's almost like there's a connection to the divine. It's there's an opening to the divine, and the mm -hmm. divine can come in, and visit. In my opinion, but my question to you is, what is a way for either you to be grateful to the divine, or for others to be grateful to you for your connection to the divine? Um. I try not to like utilize myself as as um, higher than or more than. Uh -huh. Okay, um, I think um, they should be constant. People should be constantly very grateful and appreciative of the power source that comes in Beautiful. naturally. You know, and um, and they should remember that if they went through that experience that. It is around them. They have to just ask or call it in, and it's there. You know, uh, I don't think people are real conscious that spirit is around, or you know, this mana is around. Do you see spirits? Oh yeah. Can you communicate with the other side? Yes, yes. So it's for me, and and I'm I'm I could sit next to like a total stranger, mm. and. And their spirit is talking to me, and I'm like, oh, uh, you know, mm -hmm. looking at them, going, well, uh, and I won't, I won't really say anything to them. I mean, but I'll talk to the spirit itself, and then I'll, I'll say, are, are you okay? <laughs> you know, and because your spirit is like telling me something, but it, it's kind of weird. And I then, feel weird. <laughs> That's that's beautiful. That's such a gift. Two two more questions. One is, um, do you feel there's a lineage? I know that you mentioned yes. And have you like your grandmother or or somebody? Um, it's it's yeah lineage, um, and like for my lineage itself, um, I have lineage from the um, not only Hawaii but from the Cook Islands mm -hmm. and from New Zealand, mm -hmm. and so when. When I do call my lineage in, you know, it's my great great grandmother, great 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 grandfathers, you know, and they come, they have like some super knowledge that just blows me away, you know. I mean, and and they, I just step aside and I just listen to what they have to say and do what they tell me to do, and and then I'm I'm sitting there in awe because I have not done that ever but it it just happened and then this happens you know and uh, as a, as a, the final question I have for you is what would you like to share and what would you like to happen in this world yes uh 
I, I want everyone to kind of like appreciate each other or be kinder to each other, you know? I mean, I think our world has gotten to a point of no kindness or very little and, um, and so much fear in our, in our world right now. You know, as a child, you fear your parents. But now as a child, you fear going to school, you fear, you know, there's so much fear based around things. And um, I think even um, in, in learning about spirituality and, or, or being in a religious thing, you know, I mean, it's so based, most of it is based around fear. Yeah. And they, yeah, they teach it. And, you know, I mean, everyone should know that you come into this world with no fear and you come into this world with, with such a clear spirit and it's just everyone around you start putting their little influence on it. And Projections. Then, yeah, and then, you know, you start thinking, wow, really? Maybe I should do that or maybe I should do this, you know, and then, then it, you know, it just clogs you up, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'd like everyone to maybe a little bit more conscious that there is spirit still around them and that, you know, I mean, everything is here for a reason. You know, our pandemic is here for a reason. Everything had to come to this point. So we just, we just need to know how to accept and, and be able to go through it and help the process, you know, because I think it'll, it'll clear up on its own. Beautiful. Yeah. Mahalo. Thank you.